In this lecture, we are going to learn about go back n protocol. Okay, so the protocol is go back n, and it's a flow control mechanism where a sender can send it to a receiver in a controlled manner. Okay, which the receiver can decide. So what happens is that in there was stop and wait protocol in which the sender sends packet to the receiver and how the flow control was maintained was that the receiver only after processing the packet okay after receiving the packet he sent an acknowledgement saying that i have received the packet now you can send more so this way what happened the receiver can never be overwhelmed because only when the send, receiver sends an ACK, sender can send a new packet. So it's stop and wait. Okay. So I send a packet and I will not send any further packet till the receiver allows me by sending an ACK. So this way receiver is always comfortable. He will not be overwhelmed by the packets. But what happens is the sender sends the packet to the receiver okay the channel becomes idle now when he sends the ACK after that only he can send another packet so this way the channel is not utilized much and throughput is less for this particular protocol okay it provides us the flow control but it's not that efficient so go back n is another mechanism which has better throughput so here what happens instead of sending just one packet the sender can send up to w frames i can send let's say seven frames so one two three four five six seven i can send seven packets without considering for an act but i will stop after sending seven packets this way still receiver knows that okay he cannot continuously bombard with, with with packets but only i know that maximum of seven packets i can receive and after that he has to wait till i send an acknowledgement so here it's kind of trade-off now i can send you some packets but not continuous packets so you can send w frames without worrying for an acknowledgement we keep but what happens is that you also keep a copy of the frames until the ACK arrives. So now you can ask the question, why should I keep copy of frames till an ACK arrive? Okay, so I have few packets. Okay, let's say I have few packets. I send to the receiver frame one, then frame two, frame three. But let's say all of them were lost. And so I had a timer here T1, T2 and T3. So because I did not receive any ACK, so I will know that okay after some time let the timer expired after one second. So I will know that okay it was not received by the receiver because he did send an ACK. Similarly for F2 and F3, frame 2 and frame 3. So I will retransmit it and for retransmitting you need to have that packet so it's kind of a mail okay you send a mail and then if somehow it was not received by the receiver you need to have a copy of the mail if you want to send it again so that's the idea for having a copy this procedure requires so now stop and wait was a simple protocol here you need a somehow to know that i can only send seven packets 15 packets and so on and that is maintained by a window okay that we will see and it's known as famously known as sliding window protocol so each packet because now in stop and protocol i had only two numbers sequence number zero and one because i sent frame zero and then next time i had to send frame one then when I have sent frame 1 to differentiate it from the previous one, I will send frame 0. But here there is a window of I can send up to W packets. So there should be a sequence from 0, 1, 2, 3 
till w minus 1 okay packets should be numbered so that i can know okay which packets i am expecting frames from a sender are numbered and then what happens if you're numbering i need bits to encode them so maximum let's say we allow m bits in our header so for example if i have m is equal to 3 so you can have sequence numbers 2 to the power of 3 which is 8 so i can have sequence numbers 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay but if you have m bits for sequence so you can have a range of 0 to 2 to the power of m minus 1 so for m is equal to 3 it says i can have sequence number 0 1 2 till 7 we can repeat the sequence numbers okay so i can then repeat that okay 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 then i can again start okay so this is there we will see this protocol in action now so this is our sliding window this is how it's much easier to understand okay so it says that the sliding the sender maintains a sliding window okay and this window has packets that have been sent but not acknowledged okay so i need to have copy of those packets so i send some packet frame 3 it is not acknowledgement so that will be there in the window so those sequence numbers and others will be there the sequence numbers that can be sent but they are not sent right now so if i have a window where i have numbers from 0 to 6 now let's say frame 0 and 1 are acknowledged so it means these will go out of the window so 0 and 1 comes out this window slides this means now i need to send frame 2 or frame 2 has been the last sent the most previously sent packet and now i can also send frames with numbers 0 7 and 0 and if the window size at most is 2 to the power of m minus 1 if i have m bits so let's try to see and receiver window receiver what it has its window is just size 1 which means that it says that okay i'm expecting packet 0 now packet with sequence number 0 now it receives frame 0 then it will slide its frame window and say i need now frame 1 okay that's how and if it is expecting frame 1 and somehow it receives frame 2 it will just discard that packet okay now we have some control variables because this is a picturization i need to implement it on computer so we have some control variables sf sl and s what are they s is the sequence number of the recently sent packet okay s here means s is zero i have just sent the last packet sent is packet with sequence number zero sf is the starting of the window which is the first unacknowledged packet sl is the last frame in the window and receiver just has one value one element in the window which is the frame that it is expecting others frame if it gets it will reject them or discard them now about acknowledgement so here receiver only sends an ac acknowledgement positive acknowledgement that i have received some frame which is safe and in order both okay so in order and so like it means here that it is expecting frame 0 then it should receive frame 0 not frame 3 or 1 okay that is in order and the same one if frames are damaged or out of order receiver is silent and discards all the subsequent frames okay let's see again so if i'm expecting frame 0 somehow frame 0 was lost then because the window size let's say it was 3 i sent frame 1 and frame 2 also but i will silently discard them i will not send any acknowledgement this timer for frame 0 will expire and it will again send frame 0 now if the receiver receives it it will send ac 1 which means now you send again frame 1 and frame 2 so that's why it's go back n okay 
now the silence of the receiver okay because receiver did not send an arc so the timer expires and the, all the frames sent after that particular lost fra frame are sent so it resends all the frame beginning from the one for which the timer expired we will see with the example so it tells one example suppose sender has sent frame 6 okay it sent frame 6 but the timer for frame 3 expires so it had sent frame 3 frame 4 frame 5 and frame 6 and then it has not received the acknowledgement for frame 6 and what happens is frame 3 the timer expires then it knows that okay the sender will assume that okay nothing was it has to send again all the frame 3 frame 4 frame 5 and frame 6 so it resends all the frame and there is a concept of cumulative act what does that mean cumulative act means that if i sent let's say if f3 f4 f5 and f6 were sent somehow acknowledgement for f3 f4 and f5 were not sent but act for f6 was sent and act 7 was sent then the sender will know that okay it's a cumulative act it will understand that all the frames f3 f4 f5 and f6 have reached let's see some examples sender is there so normal operation okay i have sf this is the window sf and sl are the first and the last frames in it s is the last frame sent so s is zero now so i will send frame zero here receiver window was just frame zero here it receives it and then it does not send any acknowledgement so because i have a window of size three i can send three packets frames without thinking of the bothering about the acknowledgement so i sent frame one now frame one was sent so this s variable will become one now because this is the last frame sent i get an acknowledgement two so now what happens i have got those acknowledgements so you see here in this one now zero and one are the frames for which i have not received any acknowledgement so these are there in this particular window so this part is for the frames for which they have been sent but the acknowledgement has not been received so from sf to s are those frames which are sent but for which packets are not act is not received this number is i can send this okay but i have not sent it right now so frame 2 act 2 comes now because acknowledgement for 0 and 1 has been received i slide this window further so 2 3 0 now are there in this one so i send frame 2 so s becomes 2 i get act 3 so i will again slide the window and here if you see when it receives frame 1 so r is here so it receives correctly now it is expecting frame 2 it gets frame 2 r moves to 3 so normal operation now let's try to see why the name go back n so here i have m is equal to 2 which means i have a window of size 2 to the power of m minus 1 which is 2 square minus 1 or 3 so i can have 3 frames in the sliding window so initially sf is 0 sl is 2 and s is 0 i can send frame 0 i send frame 0 receiver window was 0 so it is expecting frame 0 it got it it slides to 1 to the right now it's not waiting for an acknowledgement s becomes 1 i send frame 1 here i get act 2 so what it means now those these two packets comes out of the sliding window now s is at 2 and these are the sliding window i sent frame 2 but somehow it was lost but without bothering i can send 2 3 and 0 frames i send frame 3 i also start a timer okay for the frames i have sent so for timer for 2 was started it was not received and i sent frame 3 but r was at 2 so it is expecting frame 2 it discards frame 3 and a timer expires i again send frame 2 and it does not send that okay frame 3 for it does not send any act so i send frame 2 again and 
I get act 3 so I send frame 3 so that's why it's go back n so it means if I don't get acknowledgement for something all the packets that were sent after this packet they all will be resent again so this is there and you have cumulative act so even if I sent frame 1 I did not receive act f2 f3 I sent and then I get an act saying act 4 then it is fine so act 4 will automatically mean f1 f2 f3 all were received properly so this is about if an act is damaged or lost we have two situations okay so first is if an act is lost from the receiver side okay so what can happen a sender sent some frame act was lost he sends another frame that was also lost but he sends third frame and act for this one is received this also means that all the frames were received okay and and other case is i am sending frame all the frames are getting received frame 1 frame 2 frame 3 frame 4 but all the acts are lost okay acts are lost and then this let's say acknowledgement came for act 5 but somehow the timer expires here itself then what will happen even though all the frames were received f1 f2 f3 f4 they will be recent again okay so that is being told here so if the next act arrives before the expiration of the timer then it is fine because of cumulative acknowledgement but so if act 1 act 2 act 3 are lost act 4 covers them if arrives before the timer expires but if the timer expires before act 4 arrives then all the frames are recent so few things are good but the thing is if uh, the channel is very noisy and lot of packets are lost then this is this will have lots of retransmission so it's not that good in that case so i hope you understand this thanks a lot